Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to London and welcome back to another JPEG only vlog. Uh, today, we are once again in uh, a similar sort of area to the last vlog uh, and kind of similar, no, it's not so similar to the one before. Uh, anyway, so we are in uh, the Southwark, Bermondsey sort of area, um, just south of London Bridge. One of my favorite areas in uh, all of London. Uh, time I come here, uh, I enjoy it, which is why I keep coming back here to take photos. So following on from the last video where I went through all of my uh, sort of setup of using the Fuji X Raw Studio app to uh, set up my um, JPEG recipes and whatever, uh, I'm gonna be doing a similar thing here. So I am shooting with the Fuji X-T4 and I've set it to RAW and JPEG. So I may tweak things a little bit later uh, with the RAW files and uh, create some JPEGs in camera. Uh, but the idea is that all of the images that you'll see will be edited uh, using just the uh, Fuji settings. I'm really enjoying it as a process. Um, it just, it creates sort of like guidelines and boundaries um, and working within that reduces friction, gets me out shooting more. Uh, I'm enjoying the uh, momentum that we're building on the channel again. And of course, weather's glorious. Hay fever is running amok through my sinuses, but we're good, we're good. So what I wanted to draw attention to today is one of my favorite aspects, or rather maybe my favorite styles or just overall favorite feelings with photography. And that is when you mix photography and socializing. So the social aspect of going out, taking photos, going and exploring, uh, meeting with people, drinking, all of those things, plus having a camera with you is just one of my favorite things. And I think it sort of shows as well in the images as well because some of my favorite images when I look back through my history of things, they're not necessarily my favorite images because the image itself is great. It's more so that I remember the journey and the memories of them. And I just, I really enjoy that sort of everyday style of photography and just the, the lifestyle of imagery. So there is that aspect uh, to photography, but then there is also, um, you know. Hi, I'm such a big fan. Here oh he is, God. here he I'm is. Such a, I'm such a huge fan. Um, have you heard of the iPhone 12? Yeah. It's great for photos. I've got it, I've got 5G. Have you had your 5G jab yet? Uh, no, I'm getting it that on uh, Thursday. Is a little thing to point out. Uh, I've had my first of my jabs, uh, going for my all-important second one in a million months' time. You got um, into boxing? <laughs> this, by the way is uh, exactly what I'm I was, a human. This is what I was talking about. Socializing. Uh, so mixing social aspects with photography. And uh, Joe is one of my favorite humans in the planet. And uh, in the planet, on the planet, around the planet. Uh, generally, the vicinity of the planet. Um, I'll take it. And um, we get hit by cars. <laughs> this is live broadcasting. I mean, it's not. You're going to heavily edit this. Joe and I, we go way back. Uh, we studied graphic design together at college. And um, yeah. You probably know me better than most other people, which yes. is why you keep them close. Yes, because um, <laughs> I'm like an enemy and friend mixed. So uh, I let you crack on. No, it's fine. I mean, what are, I mean, I mean, it's a bit can, weird. You can stand there awkwardly. Just, <laughs> just looking. Uh, so I've met up with Joe, and uh, we're going to go and have some food, have some drinks, um, and this is where it crosses over into the other aspect um, of favorite things of life, of meeting people and socializing. And there's a fine line between taking images that you want to edit and you want to um, you know, add into your portfolio and whatever, and then there's also images that you want to look nice, but you don't want the stress of editing. And doing the JPEG only just fills that gap. It just crosses the border um, and I'm enjoying that. So today we are focusing on getting images of uh, just the social aspect of you know, chilling, walking around, carrying a camera, getting images, having good food, having good drinks. And we've got a table booked for Bao in 
two minutes time. Oh, I look so sweaty and shit. <laughs> you don't look sweaty. I look sweaty and shit. And you look lovely. You stop it, you. <laughs> stop flirting with me because I will fall in love with you. And historically, that's not gone well for the people I've fallen in love with. <laughs> I, I'm not a murderer. <laughs> I love that I'm awkwardly walking around carrying cameras and stuff and you've joined me with a box. <laughs> a box of disposable blinds! <laughs> like normal! Disposable? Yeah. They like disintegrate in the yeah, sun. Yeah, but they, they probably do. <laughs> they weren't very expensive. I didn't want you to come in at the words, everybody loves Taiwan, but you have, and that's that's where we started. Um, but I'm having a great time. I'm with my favorite friends. Um, I'm eating bao because I'm very fun. Um, and I'm a man of the world, stroke, I live in London, which means I'm a man of the world. And I'm having a lovely conversation with my friend Ellie. And my other friend, Joe Allen. <laughs> Great little dinner, as always, at Bao. Uh, it's been a while since we've been there, but always enjoy it. Very, very enjoyable, very tasty. Um, good Taiwanese food. Love that, every time. Um, anyway, so, been taking a few images as we've been walking around. We've now ended up on Tower Bridge. Um, probably one of my favorite bridges in the world. Um, it's just absolutely iconic, and uh, lucky to have it here in London. But, um, as we've been going around getting images, I've been uh, shooting interchangeably between two of my recipes. Uh, so Superstone, which I featured in the last uh, two videos, and the other one is City Neg 2. Um, you never got to see City Neg 1, but it was one that I created and then immediately adapted and uh, created a second version of it. Uh, so City Neg 2, I believe, is what I've been shooting with most of the evening. Um, and I will throw up the settings for City Neg 2 on the screen so you can see those um, and you can see all the adjustments that I'm making. There will potentially be some images that I may have like tweaked ever so slightly uh, using the Fuji X RAW app um, but otherwise City Neg 2 is uh, what I've been using and enjoying. Also earlier today I published the uh, Fuji X RAW video um, going through all the, the details of editing those RAWs with the JPEG settings and uh, I just had a comment on there saying that they enjoyed the recipes that I've created for the scenario and the scenes that I'm in. Uh, in comparison to some of the other recipes that are around out in the community, that they suit more sort of rugged, um, sort of dusty environments and maybe, you know, your classic sort of North American landscape and stuff, um, which I hadn't really appreciated. But now that it's been mentioned, it definitely is something that I've kind of seen a lot with uh, a lot of example images. So if you want to use these settings, um, I'm guessing uh, they should work well in an environment similar to London, which is very stone heavy um, and just kind of urban, but not too shiny and modern. And uh, hopefully they suit you well. Uh, but likewise, leave a comment down below if you've got any recipes that you've been enjoying and ones that you might think would work in social environments that I'm looking to uh, fill the gap with. I'm just sort of talking to Ellie about the, um, the confidence of talking to camera in public. <laughs> and how um, I find it impressive that you can just ramble on without any scripts. Joe, you, are, have to you are glowing in this sun right now. You are, you look beautiful. Thank you, I might look into the distance. And <laughs> can I, can, I, grab my, your, can my, I grab your portrait? Yeah, can. Um, yeah, I think this would be a really good one. Just, yeah. you know, with me, me and my blinds. <laughs> <laughs> Pop those down there as they get stolen. He's London. Just, just look into the distance like you would. Into the vista of London. Through my auburn locks. <laughs> Am I still standing as, as you wish? I'm just catching it just off your... Turn a little bit your head to your right. Yeah, yeah. I feel like a porn star. Hamps, hamster? 
handsome is what I meant to say. Hamster? 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 Are you still filming? Yeah, yeah no, that's good. We're good. Right, let's Can grab I your blinds. How do I do this again? What are you doing? Transferring. A few images across. So it, they link up, they're friends. Mm -hmm. How are they friends? How does that work? Wi Fi. That has a bit of Wi Fi. A bit of Wi Fi? <laughs> Got a little a slice of Wi Fi. That has a bit of Wi Fi? It does, yeah. That's baffling. So then I can go into uh, import and you'll see it's connecting. Oh my god, it did it so quickly. God, there's a very handsome boy there. And then I can choose the images. Oh, look at me and Ellie having a really good time. And then when it's worked out what it wants to do with it, I can select it. <laughs> up there. And import. That's so good. To be able to just open it up. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and you got it in the right order. <laughs> I love that. Joe who's just headed off home. Uh, it's been great to catch up. It's been over a year and a half since I've seen that boy and I miss him a lot. So it's good to catch up in person. Anyway, this vlog, uh, once again, has been kind of all over the place, but hopefully you've enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully it's kind of reiterated the point I was trying to make in that I enjoy this JPEG only approach for capturing the social images. Just images whilst you're out and about um, hanging with friends, you know, good photos of food, drinks, just capturing those memories and uh, the things that you want to have looking nice but you don't want to spend the time editing. Uh, that's what this has all been about. Likewise, taking some of these images and transferring them with the wireless communication to your phone uh, is a great way of just sharing them to your stories and whatever. I've started doing that and it's still a little bit of a cumbersome process, like the app isn't the best, uh, the connection's not the fastest but being able to just transfer them to your phone uh, and post them to stories as I've been doing for Instagram works pretty well. So I've been enjoying that. I'll keep it in. Wait, 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 what do you say? I'll keep it in. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I've been sharing some of these images on my Instagram stories. Um, that's a little plug. Go follow me on Instagram if you don't already. I uh, post a lot on stories and images. So hopefully you've enjoyed this. I'm going to continue on this JPEG only journey throughout the rest of the summer. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Anyway, we're going to head home and uh, we'll catch you in another video real soon. All right. Goodbye. Mask up. Let's go. See you later. Bye bye.